Hello and welcome to the final episode of the season of Motor Smoke Manager of Livingston Motors. It's a bit of a formality because thanks to Porter's back-to-back -back crashes, uh, Porter, Engelhart is 37 points ahead of Porter. The only way Porter can win is that if he wins the race, and I think he even picks up one of the two bonuses, which he can't qualify in really because he's lost super overtake mode, because he's blaming his mechanic for his failures, for his crashes. And Engelhardt also has to crash. So, good luck Porter. Porter may even end up third or fourth if things go wrong for the third time in a row. 116 point lead uh, in the in the team standings is insurmountable, I do believe. She can get, what, 40, 78 points, 86 points total. And the, so we've won quick maths. <laughs> we've, won, we've won the title, it's all about the drivers. Uh, the most she can pick up is 48 points, so technically Valdez can't win because even though Valdez can pick up 48 points, Engelhardt will get a guaranteed two for last place if he crashes, which means he'll win the title by a point if Valdez wins and Engelhardt does crash. And Valdez gets the, both uh, first place qualifying and the fastest lap. The only person available to beat Engelhardt is Porter, and he's crashed twice. So without a crack, well, unless Engelhardt does really badly, which is very doubtful, consider, considering how he's won at seven races out of ten, <laughs> he's, he has to crash for Potter to stand a chance. So going into this race, we've won the drivers, we've won the, uh, we've won the uh, team. It's all about can Engelhardt finish the job? He probably can. I am not betting it against him one bit, and hopefully qualifying will actually go fine. So the Icini, who I'm managing round two in my own playthrough will give us a profit. Please. Son, 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 as you as you would expect. I think this one people like uh, pit more than twice, which is weird. Oh, that might be just with the circular one. I don't know. Potter is content. Engelhart is happy, even though Potter should be very happy that he's still in the bloody team. Uh, final race of the season. Let's let's see it out with a win, eh? Win all eleven races, just to just to, just to, just to hammer the point home. Right, it's race. Of course, this is practice, so I will see you for qualifying, and it better be dry or die. Well, that is the end of practice. The laps were short enough that I was able to get some qualifying trim practice in, so I have got the first level of that one. I did also do the rate shipping before practice, so that resulted in Engelhart coming top. Porter, three tenths of a second behind him. Valdez, Randy Oster, the Firebird, doing pretty well today. So bad up in fifth. Of course, that is practice. He can't crash in practice, so Porter actually finished. It should be a dry qualifying. It is Phoenix. It never rains. Uh, so, super softs and qualifying trim. Another 5% for both drivers. Reliability is done. Same as before. I've kept port at 80% reliability to be safe I had to change that uh, set up a few times but I think angle out at 96 uh, in which case I will actually uh, save this uh, if I put angle out phoenix and save this one Phoenix C. Same with Porter, even though he's prob probably getting replaced. Uh, get rid of you. Of course, uh, in the Age Pacific Cup, it is the standard going round and round and round one, so the setups will be different for that one by quite a bit, I think. It isn't like the you know the Milan one where it's like one extra chicane, so it doesn't really change too much. Uh, this one is pretty uh, pretty drastically different. Is it more than two turns in <laughs> for starters? So rate shipping is done. I've set the setups. Uh, I've done the perks. Both drivers get an extra five percent performance. We'll see how much of a, how much of a difference that makes. Engelhardt top, Porter, Porter down in 6th. He's getting out again, he's setting a faster lap than normal, that puts him in 3rd. 1st and 3rd, Valdez breaking the 1-2 lockout. 
But Engelar, look at that. Th over three tenths of a second faster than his nearest rival. It's going to be a great race for him. It's very gearbox and uh, engine heavy, this one. And of course, engine is sparking Engelar has a very good gearbox. He's got a golden opportunity to win our home Grand Prix. And we can end the season here. But if we win our home Grand Prix, we will have won every single race. That is how broken race tripping is. <laughs> so Engelar in first gets four points for that. So title's over. But I think poor to uh, I think Eng poor to get it. <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah, it's over. The title race is over. It's all about. The only thing that matters now is can we win every race of the season? Engler is going to retain his championship. Pot to blow it. Completely blow it. Completely and utterly blow it. Race trim and soft tyres. Porter will need that. Race trim and nurse, of course. Both cars will be on the softs, not the supers. There's 29 laps. These are about 10 laps each. And the sauce will definitely do that for both drivers. Uh, of course, attack, overtake. The final race of the season, Engelhardt starts in first, Valdez in second, Porto in third, Diosta in fourth. Then Mr. Motors and Firebird taking the top four spots. It's Zampelli in fifth and sixth, Costa in seventh, who was like a four star driver, I don't know how they got him. Uh, Vanan in eighth, John Stottier in ninth. Of Garuda Racing, her partner down, down, down in 15th because he's injured. But lucky, oh, he's severely injured. He's lost half his stars, I think. He's a reserve driver. What the hell, man? But lucky Porter hasn't had a, a bad injury from his crashes. But it's five red lights for the final race of the season. The, our home Grand Prix, for my company anyway. Engler after a good start, Porter after a bad one. Uh, Diosta will overtake Porter. Oh, what? How do you go wide? Valdez runs right straight away. That is like impossible. It's such a, a shallow corner. What the hell was that? That's not the easiest corner in the entire entire season, I think. It's you know, it's just one massive bank. Costa sets the fastest lap. No, Evans sets up Evans. What the hell? Slowest guy in the in this league. Sets the fastest lap. Sabato fighting with Porter. I was trying to get past the Oster, but he can't do it. Porter on the uh, slower compound here. But we are playing the long game. It's very bad on tyre wear this track, so some a lot of teams pit three times rather than two. And we want to pit twice. So they're already, already having to uh, come down on the tyres. Angela. Porter can't get past his, uh, the guy in front. Engler will push for this lap because he's setting the fastest, it's his personal best here. And he'll slow down because he's got a two and a half second lead already. And his tyre is already better, so he doesn't really need to push at this point. Porter's going to keep going though, <laughs> he'll try his best. But I think I think uh, Dios is actually gaining ground on uh, Porter here. Yeah, he is. Well, his tire is absolutely atrocious. All uh, right, come down. I think we can play the long game here with uh, our guys. Those on the super, especially the Osters, got pretty bad tire wear.
We've got to go nine, at least nine laps. So we've got to go another four laps. Which we can do. But their tyres might struggle just about. I'll conserve the Porto a little bit just to get his tyre heat down. And go back to, to meet normal. So he's, 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 gonna, he's been in overtake mode the entire time. He's going to have to pit soon. And if he uh, has to pit too early, so he has to pit again. When it comes to Phoenix, I think the, the long, the you know, the long strategy generally works. So it's pay, it's paying lap seven. You can't go. You can't do that. It's a it's a three sort of strategy. Because the pit the pit lane is that long. <laughs> Spellers catching in fourth. Pull it up into second as the Oster pits. I guess Mr. Battle's pitting soon as well, this tire wear is a bit is a bit bad. So Battle's catching it, he's not pitting. He's pitting now. So we are we are just doing it like a basic long strategy. So a, a, a lot of these guys are going to have to three stop. And Sabado and that, who else was pitted, these guys are going to have to stop right right at the end. So you basically got 21 laps. You've got 12 laps of fuel, but the tyre wear is not going not gonna to last. Uh, attack overtake, Kasha coming in. Be your next set of, next set of softs. Plus we're getting clear track here. So we can push and clear track there and to push fighting with other people, which will help us in the long run as well. Porter one wide, you are just terrible, aren't you? You really are. Still in second. We didn't damage your car. Yes, we should pit. You can go into uh, medium. <laughs> Put us in. No mistake for him. That does actually affect your tyre and fuel as you're coming out. Uh, that is Valdez that's got stuck right behind him. <laughs> Sucker. Engel, that's in. Bang on tyre as well, actually. Any lower, and we'll just start seeing performance drops. Engelart out, no mistake. Just needs to pit soon. Porter is going to come out in fourth. But he has to have to pick twice more, I think. So really, we're first and third. I don't know if Sabalo can go the full hog either. We just one more pit stop. Yeah. 
Look at Balda. It's, it's Tyler. It's already atrocious. And Sabado is conserving his tyres. He's completely backing up. See, if he, if he hadn't run wide, Porter, he might, have been, he might have been able to overtake him by now. Right. He has, to, he has to has to pit. He's pitted now and he has to pit again. So he's irrelevant. Alright. Back up then. You have to pit on lap 19 or 18 to, to go the full distance. Porto has caught up to uh, Sabada, but now he must uh, save his tyre. Tyre heating a bit. Ain't gonna lie, just chilling him first. Form of his life. Eight seconds ahead. And Sabada's having to wreck his tyre to, to, to even try and catch up. Lovardes is gaining up pretty quickly, but once again, he's going to have to pit soon. You need to, you need to, you need to, let it pack to uh, go the full hog with one more pit stop. He has to do four more laps. You need to come in on, you need to come in on lap 18, and that's without pushing your tyres. I think he's coming, he's coming in the next lap or two. He's not, he's not going to have enough uh, tyre wear to go the full hog. Vardes, yeah, Vardes is pitting with what, 17, on lap, what, start lap 17, so we'd have like 14 laps to go, something like that. I mean, Englart's just chilling all the way over there. As long as he keeps his core and doesn't crash, he's won easily. I mean, to be fair, you can pit now and still finish the race, and that's it. But you have to go on low fuel for a bit. Because it's 13 laps to go. Because it's 12 difference, and plus this actual lap. So. But obviously we can pit late and not fill our tank as much, so we'll have lighter, lighter tanks. And we're not we're not fighting with people. We don't we won't slow us down either. <laughs> I just realised you probably heard the pan in the background the entire time. My bad. <laughs> Apologies. Right, attack height. Right, medium, medium now. His heat's gone down a bit. I didn't realize my fan was on. Oops. Spado's pitting now, so he, he can finish. The important money and wine might cost him a, cost us a one too, to be honest. The Austin one and wine, that's 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 we don't really care, do we? Really. Uh, we'll attack and we'll pick this lap. Everything's fine. Everyone's getting lapped. Oh, they've been lapped by. Oh, they've been lapped by Engelhart. Sabato's out. Oh, I should have overtake, 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 overtake me. My bad. Sorry, Porter. Porter's in. Right, 
He's ahead of Sabato. No, Sabato overtakes. Sabato actually was able to overtake. They normally get stuck behind. That's a bit disappointing. But Sabato's pretty close by, so it's not too bad. I like how we'll come out second just behind Jean Perard. Uh, just miles behind Jean Perard. Who is he? He has yes, to pit as well anyway. Tire choice. Yep, everything's fine. We, we could probably do supers, but he doesn't have to go fast. See, Sabala went in earlier, so we can push longer than he can. Gerard's in the pits now. Get past them with these. Will there be a mistake for Engelhart, or is this going to result in an easy win for him? Nope. Angle lights out. Second and third are coming in. Yeah, his miles ahead. You can just chill. Just stay on low until Sabato starts, you know, creeping up. It's looking like a first and third finish. It's a double podium, but the uh, Porto winning wide has, prob prob has probably given uh, Sabato second place. He is conserving now. If we keep going, do we gain? <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, we'll keep pushing then. And then back off and we overtake. Come on. Come on, Porter. Oh, yeah, your suspension's in Macken, mate. Come on. Take Sabado, come on. Come on. That's the outside. I don't know. Is that gonna is that gonna stick? It's gonna stick. For now anyway. Right, where was I? Where was I? Right, so Porter just overtaken the second place. Now he's conserving to save on tight heating before Sabado attacks him. Uh, Engelhart's just chilling ten seconds in front. <laughs> We need to push these tyres to get some heat into them before that's to go. Oh, Sabado's attacking straight away. It isn't great. Sabado's immediately responding to it. But he's fell off a bit actually, which is pretty fortunate. Right, here he comes. We'll push. We'll push. Sabado's already starting to drop off, actually. Sabado right on the back of uh, Porter. But Porter is, is holding. <laughs> By the skin of his teeth, he's holding it. Glass, the smiles in front. <laughs> and now we're just copying the uh, Sabado strategy. See, what I've just done to Sabado is what the AI normally do to me. In that, uh, they, push, they push harder than you for as long as they can, and as soon as they get in front, they back up knowing that you can't push back because he, he ties it too hot. I've, I've, done, I've done the same thing to, to Sabado because he, he tried to push back. But he can't push for long because his tire wear is not going to let him. Alright. 
we'll warm up, warm, 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 warm up his tyres a bit. I think we, I think the tyre wear is about bang on even. What well, we got like three percent more. Uh, go to normal. He's actually uh, attacking. Again, so we're going to attack again. We've got excess fuel, but our gear, but this suspension's about to go. You know what? Go for it. Go for it, Porter. Final lap. Uh, Engelhardt's going to chill for the final lap. Nothing matters now. Uh, it looks like Sabato's dropping off. Sabato's dropping off. It's going to be a 1 2 to end the season. It's funny what happens when Porter doesn't actually crash. Engelhardt's in first. Over about 12 seconds ahead of Porter. We'll finish in second. It's a 1 2 finish in our home Grand Prix. People like Valdez, the Oster, uh, three stopping, which was not the right move. It was a two stopper, which most people did. But Engelhardt storms to another win. Eight wins out of 11 for Engelhardt, the other three going to Porter. Our time in the European, in the European Racing Series ends with a 1 2 finish in a home Grand Prix. Hang out with plenty of tire wear left as well. He could have gone another like 20 laps. Easy peasy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Enjoy it while you can, guys and girls, because next season that's not going to happen. <laughs> I might very well get fired. I'm, I'm, I have never managed, managed a team past this point now. I'm, I've, I've took promotion and then never played it again. So it's new ground for me. So yeah, the, the early stuff for Sabado did not really pay enough in the end. They took a bit of a risk with Porter pushing beyond our tyres limits. Uh, but he got past and was able to, to just about defend it until the end. Gerard in fourth. Uh, Vardes disappointing in 14th thanks to a three-stop strategy, which was not the right one. Right wrong. What the hell? Right one. Because it was wrong. No wall breaks. Engelard getting the uh, pole position bonus. It was Evans. Evans, the slowest driver on the grid. Almost every time gets the fastest lap bonus. Shocker. It's a 1-2 finish in the race. It's a 1-2 finish in the drivers. Engelard winning by 41 points thanks to Porter's two crashes. We win the league though by 147 points. Getting 457 overall. I thought win for Engelhardt was a piece of piss. Engelhardt wrapping up the season with just win after win after win after win. Same as Livingston Motors. Engelhardt gets the trait for, as a reigning European Racing Series champion. He retains his championship. Two time European champion. Marketability has gone up. Make a profit for the first time in a race, anyway. 2019 European champion, not world champion, European champion, Falco Engelhardt, 11 podiums, 8 race rings. I think the other three came second. I think one, I think one might be come third. A ridiculous performance this season. And the European champions overall, Lewiston Motors. Who earned 15.5 million prize funds. That's hoping for a bit more than that. It is high merit payments. What, what, what do you normally get? Is it 12.5 million? Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. So we, get, we, get like three and a half, we get like 3 million more for coming first. And you would do it equal merit. Yep, I'll take it. So Vardes is now uh, open to discussing terms. We don't care because he's, he's not much better than what we've got. Is that the same? 
12.4 seconds fastest pit stop. So it's like two seconds faster than what it says it says it's gonna, gonna be. Uh, you're all bad. Reject them all. <laughs> there we go. Just Max Porter. I might replace him to be, to be honest. Hey. Give me, give me my money. Manager of the season is Zampella. How? I dominated the league. My team. Complete robbery. And that's complete robbery. Engelhart, in what is supposed to be, in, what is supposed to be an average car, wins the league, winning eight races. I won every single race. How am I not manager of the season? What manager has won every single race? Every single race in the league. Then Zampella get it if they're finishing, what, fourth? Oh no, they finished second, thanks to the, thanks to the double points. Of course they did. They got the best car on the grid. Still couldn't win. That's bollocks. I'm better. I'm better than you, Tanner. T. Tanner. That's not the manager. That's the chairman. I'm better than you, M. Lewis. I see you up there. Don't think you can hide up there. Oh no. And of course, this time we are going up. Because there's nothing for us here now. <laughs> nothing for us here. You damn right we're going up, mate. And it's Ozu who have dropped down. What are the rules in the Aegis Super Cup? So pit stops are faster. Uh, but um preparing your car is gonna be a big endurance. And it's only the top six that get points, which is the big one to be honest. because uh, we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to um finish high early on with our nurse perk. I think that's the only way we're staying up. Although you get you get money for beating them last, so you can just come like last and then <laughs> still ninth at the end. Uh, but I will I will have to I can't get relegated. It will uh, not let me. I get fired if that happens. Uh, speaking of which, is that is that driver interesting now? Oh, he wants to be in a world championship. God damn it! My plan is ruined. Hey you. Marketability is a bit too low though. You know she is good. <laughs> Do you wanna come down the league? Do you wanna come down the league? <laughs> no. Right. What about you? Okay. Olga Makarova. Smooth as is eight, but we have a trip with our mechanic to fix that. Um marketability. We're losing about what ten percent. Which might cost us five stars. What 
does she want? A lot of money. A lot of money. Oh, well, we are making a, a good amount of money. We'll have to make a number two because Engelhardt's number one. Um, uh, we'll go first, 12,000. We'll try that. <laughs> Renegotiation, that's what I thought. Oh, we're taking that. I'm going to take the five star sponsor while I can. We'll send that, but uh, it's pre-season, which means this will be next season's video. Will we get a new driver? Will we be stuck with Porty who will just crash, crash, crash? I guess in Asia Pacific, could be, it won't matter as much because he won't be getting any points anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for next season of Motorsport Manager with Livingston Motors. Thank you.